Yeah, I think uh, we're taking the care of the ball pretty well right now. That's that's huge, and then kind of found a, found a rhythm offensively, which is good. We we need that. It's the perfect time of the year to find that rhythm, kind of go into our last stretch of the season here. And, and yeah, it seems like the guys are really kind of figuring things out. Yeah, you, you talk a lot about kind of going through progressions. Thomas, Troyer, Shane, uh, obviously Chaz. How nice to see those guys get really involved and make some big plays. Out yeah, there. big time. I think you know all those big plays tonight. It, it was really their their ability after the catch, and we've kind of been working on that a lot. Those guys, their their run after the catch, and, and we, that was proven tonight by those guys doing a great job finding the end zone after they caught the ball. You mentioned the last three games, and you look at that Air Force game. It was so it was just out of the ordinary for you guys. And offensively, you look at these last three games. I mean, how do you just kind of quantify what? How you guys have kind of progressed from from that point overall? Yeah, I think we kind of just flushed it. Really, I mean, it's kind of really out, you know, like you said, like kind of out of our characteristic, and and we we got better, and just each day, each each week, just preparing for that that game, and, and we we practiced well, we prepared well, and that's really the key to, to our success right now is we're preparing really well, and we gotta, we got to continue doing that, you know, through this bye week, and then getting ready for our next opponent. What's it mean to you guys to go through Nevada, Fresno, BYU too? You know, the, probably the biggest games on the calendar for, for a lot of people around here, and, and win the way you guys have won in three weeks. Yeah, it's huge. They're they're emotional games. Um, obviously, they're you know kind of all rivals, and, and it's good to, to get three wins against them. Now we got to keep that rhythm going, and, and we have some huge games coming up. Each game is getting bigger and bigger for us. You know, they're all conference games, and they're all all must win. So we got to continue that rhythm. Yeah, like you said, you know, it's now you go into a bye week, and you got sort of the championship on the line through November. How, how do you take this momentum and? Keep it going through there. Yeah, this bye week's going to be big, preparing, uh, get guys healthy again, kind of catch our breath, um, and then just take, you know, game by game each week, preparing like we have been, and, and really practicing well, and, and going into each game with that mindset. That went down. Have you noticed that receiver group try consciously to take a step up, especially knowing that he's not going to be out there? Yeah, I think so. I mean, they, they kind of looked at him as, as the leader, and when he went down, it's kind of like, all right, who's the next guy to step up? And we've had a lot of guys doing that lately. It's been great. You know, Thomas is been playing really well, Shane, all those guys. Troy had a nice catch tonight, Dallas. I mean, all those all those receivers are really stepping up. After that Air Force game, there was, you, know, you got some criticism thrown your way. I'm sure you heard it. I mean, people were always saying, oh, Ryan should be a QB. I mean, just these last three games, I mean, did you put anything on your own shoulders to kind of, I don't know, prove people wrong or show people, you know, what's up with QB? Yeah, I mean, I don't really pay attention to it a whole lot. Um, I'm hard on myself as it is. I knew that wasn't my best performance, and I knew that I had to prove that to myself. Just these three games, it was, it was personal for me, really. Um, I knew that that I, uh, you know, I was capable of playing a lot better, and so I just wanted to really come out and, and prove that myself. Ultimately, and how does it feel? Feels good. I think we're playing really well as a team, and the guys, you know, on the offensive de defensive side of the ball have really helped me out. I mean, the defense is playing really good right now. Our old line's really clicking. Jay's running the ball well. It seems like when he's running running well, things are rolling for us offensively. So we got to continue that. Thomas, I know a lot of you guys said you, even back to spring and summer, you saw this coming, but. I mean, the catches he made tonight, the run after catch on the big, I mean, sure some playmaking. I don't think any of us have seen out of him. Before. Yeah, I mean that was huge. We we've been waiting for that big one. You know, I know he's got great speed, and, and I kind of trusted him with that one. Kind of laid it out there for him, and then he did the rest. I mean, he found the end zone, made a great great run after the catch, and, and so that's awesome to see. I knew he had it in, and we just needed a shot like that. When you look at the, the nine receivers that had a catch, they were doing that. They made some trick plays. I mean, how much fun was it? Just looked like a typical Boise State offense. Yeah, it was really fun. I think we ran just about every play we had um, in, the, in the plan. It was crazy. Um, kind of after the game, it's like, man, we, we, you know, used all our bullets tonight, and that's that's what you want in a game like that. You want to go out leaving, you know, no doubt and having no regrets. And, and it was great that we could execute at the level that we did. It looked like you used them all in the first half. Yeah, the first half was a whole lot left. Yeah, the first half was big. It was it was good to get that you know that many points up in the first half. We needed that, and we got to continue to you know finish strong. What's it like to be a part of a game with so many explosive plays, too? It's fun. I mean, it really is. I think that's the best way to put it. It's, it's fun. It's like being a little kid in the backyard, and you drop those trick plays. And, and to see them you know, get executed so well by those guys, it's, that's fun to me. And kind of sit back, watch them run in the end zone, watching Jay run like he does, watch those guys up front. You know, it's, it's unbelievable. And, and it's, it's great to be a part of it for me. You talk about being in a, in a rhythm. You get the sense that Mike Sanford's sort of getting into a rhythm with the play. I mean, it just seems like the calls are coming at exactly the right time. Oh, absolutely. I think we're all kind of feeding off each other. I think we're all starting to learn kind of our tendencies and, and our strengths. And, and he's doing a great job like he, he has been all year. And, and it's fun to, to play for a coach like that. You mentioned the final four games of the season coming up. You know, everything's in front of you. I'm 
sure, you know, before the season they go, hey, we got four games left, you know, we can throw our best pieces. You know, you probably would have taken that. How do you kind of just look at that stretch and what you guys need to do? Yeah, we put ourselves in a good spot. Now we got to, you know, go continue to, to play well and to prepare, prepare like we have been, you know, practice well and uh, just take one game at a time. But yeah, it, it's, it's a good spot to be in and, and to have control like that is huge. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you said anything about him, but real, real, real quick, just Chaz too. I mean, he can, he can kind of, he just continues to kind of develop as a wide receiver, and you know, kind of went up and made a play on that ball down near the goal line. Yeah, it seems like every you know big play, he's he's making it. I mean, I'm throwing it out there, but it's his job ultimately to go get the ball. And it seems like every time I do that, he's he's coming up with it. It's huge. It's it's momentum changer. It's a game changer. And he's he's kind of our playmaker right now in the in the long ball game. It, it seems like you know a word that was kind of used by a couple people last week was just simply trust. How, how much tr- are, you, are you gaining trust or? Oh yeah, with all those guys. I was telling him, you know, today, even with Jay and that kind of back shoulder pass, he's like, hey, thanks for trusting me. I'm like, yeah, that's what we've been working on all, all week in practice. And, and with those guys, it's, it really is all about trust, them going and making a play. And yeah, it's huge for our offense right now.